this clip on SDG 17, we will illustrate uh, two other targets, uh, target 1716 and target 1717. And basically we're talking here about multi-stakeholder, cross-sector types of partnerships that are going to be illustrated by examples from two of the business schools. Uh, from Latrobe, we'll have Swati Nagpal and Suzanne Young talking about workshops that they have organized for capacity building in connections with different SDGs in Australia, in different parts of Australia. And then for Finland, we'll have Pia Polsa from Hanken, and she will talk about the core project, which is very much centered on this question of multi-stakeholder collaboration. Hello, I'm here with Professor Suzanne Young from the Latrobe Business School. Today she's going to talk to us about their experiences with SDG 17. Hello Suzanne. Hello Swati. Um, can you tell me a bit about the importance of intersectoral partnerships for the SDGs? The partnerships are really important for the SDGs because they provide an opportunity to build networks across these different sectors. So that's across the business, NGO, higher education and government sectors. Uh, all of these different partners bring specific expertise from their own perspectives and they can work together and engage across the sectors. And in doing so, it adds to each of the partners' knowledge, which builds capacity in relation to the SDGs. And that means that they can work together on understanding the goals of the SDGs and then how they can be implemented and also the processes that can be used. Okay, and can you tell us a bit about the approach you took to engaging these various um, sectors on the, in Australia on the SDGs? Well, I can give you one example. In 2017, we ran two workshops, both in regional Australia, one in Albury Wodonga and one in Wollongong. And in doing so, uh, we partnered with other higher education bodies and also business groups, the NGO sector and the UN Global Compact to raise the awareness of the SDGs and bring different groups together who are working on the SDGs to build capacity. So we looked at how they are being delivered locally by each of the partners and how their work contributes to the national agenda. Now what was important is we created uh, an opportunity for them to work together and to also interact through the workshops. Uh, each of the different workshops had a different SDG profile that they were working on. So for example, in Albury Wodonga, what they said were important were the SDGs on sustainable cities, climate action, life on the land, and decent work and economic growth. Whereas in Wollongong, they said that what was important for them was good health and well-being, gender equality, and education. But also interesting was that in both of the workshops, they talked about the importance of partnerships and community action to really build that capacity and really establish projects. Okay, great. Now finally, what were the key learnings from the workshops? Well, the key learnings was that the STGs are important, but that they differed, and so they had different relevance. But really bringing people together and creating a partnership and a network approach really provides an opportunity to build capacity for uh, each of those different regions. So when we left, we walked away, and they then continued the momentum. So they developed projects from the sessions that they were going to continue to work on. And so this is the start of their journey, their partnership journey, but it really is pro providing a forum for them to continue that work. Okay, thanks so much for your time today, Suzanne. Thanks, Swati. Hi, my name is Pia Pols and I work at Hanken School of Economics as an associate professor. This autumn, the IPCC Global Warming Report told its clear story for us. We are either in an environmental cri crisis or even a catastrophe that also at the same time destroys our biological bodies. Therefore, I'm very happy today to tell you that Hanken School of Economics is part of a project financed by our ministries in Finland and Academy of Finland that is called Core Core. It is looking at the environmental issues and decision making in a cooperative setting in these environmental issues. Not only looking at the collaborative setting in society between companies, municipalities, 
citizen organizations, even animals, but it's also a collaboration between different disciplines. We integrate law, social sciences, uh, ad, uh, business administration and uh, industrial management together in order to solve collaborative processes in environmental settings. We are also five different universities from Finland collaborating together. We are looking at the issues like mining in Finland, forest or use of forest, water and even how we treat wolves or if we want to have them at all in our society. In four years time I would be very happy to be in the same place and tell you what results our project did and how it addressed the global warming issues that we have at our hands today.